Hello students, let us discuss about why does setting sun appear red. So according to Rayleigh scattering, the intensity of scattered light is inversely proportional to fourth power of wavelength. That is, if wavelength is less, scattering will be more. If wavelength is more, scattering will be very less. So, compared to when sun is overhead, okay, here it is shown, this is sun when it is at overhead of earth, that is at afternoon times like that. In such case, sun has to travel a very smaller distances compared to when sun is at a horizon. So, sun will be at a horizon when either at a sunset or at a sunrise, the sun will be near horizon. In such a situation, the sun have to travel the longer path of the atmosphere. Okay, when sun is near horizon at sunrise or sunset. The light rays have to travel the longer path of the atmosphere. So, on this way, when it is in this way, the blue and violet colors, which are having shorter wavelength, will scatter more. The formula is saying that if wavelength is less, scattering will be more. So, blue and violet colors having lower wavelengths are completely scattered. And in a VIBGR, red is having longer wavelength, right? These red colors will have longer wavelength. So, when wavelength is more, as per Rayleigh's formula, when wavelength is more, scattering will be very less. So, this longer wavelength red color will have least scattering. Okay. So, these particles will be nearby the sun only because scattering is least. So, this red color only reaches our eye and sun appears red at sunrise or sunset. Right. So, this is about why sun appear red. According to Rayleigh scattering, scattering is inversely proportional to the fourth power of the wavelength. So, when, when sun is at horizon, horizon, either at sunset or sunrise, it has to travel the longer path of the atmosphere. So, the lower wavelength blue-violet colors have greater scattering and completely they are scattered. The red with having longer wavelength will have least scattering and that lead color only reaches our eye. Means around now if this is sun. So, the scattering of red particles is least you know. So, that red particles will be scattered least so they appear nearer to the sun. So, the observer's eye we will see only these red scattered particles. So, sunrise or sunset appears red. Now, let us move for the next question. Explain the formation of rainbow. So, rainbow, it is the combined effect of dispersion, refraction, total internal reflection. So, when rainbow occur, you will see no, half part must have sun and half part must rain. Then only we will see this uh, rainbow. First, uh, now here, now these two are raindrops. Okay. First, what happens? Sunlight falls on this rainbow. These and these are sunlights. It refracts. Okay. That is now if this is the rainbow, 
the sunlight refracts okay now this causes dispersion of light means the sunlight which is nothing but the white light splits into seven different colors that is with gr and this falls on the this is the inner surface no inner surface okay falls on the inner surface of the or other surface of the raindrop now at this now this is the inner surface no in such a way the sunlight has came here angle of incidence will be greater than critical angle what happens when angle of incidence is greater than critical angle it undergoes total internal reflection so now the light ray reflects and at this end while coming out again this sunlight gets refracted okay so this happens for every individual raindrop okay so now here what is happening first sunlight first sunlight enters the refracts the first surface of the raindrop and enters into the raindrop it causes dispersion that is it splits into seven colors it falls on the other surface or inner surface there angle of incidence is greater than critical angle so it undergoes total internal reflection and again while coming out it refracts here it refracts now in such a way okay it undergo total internal reflection again it refracts and comes out now in case of primary rainbow the observer how he will see the rainbow means at top he will see red color and at bottom he will see violet color okay at top he will see red color and at bottom he will see violet color now next is secondary rainbow it is formed due to here one uh, refraction a uh, reflection c here one refraction comes and falls on inner surface again it undergoes here i will be greater than c angle of incidence will be greater than critical angle again it undergoes reflection again here i will be greater than c again it undergoes reflection two total internal reflections are there and again while coming out again it undergoes refraction here and comes out right now see here here one refraction one refraction two refractions and two reflections so as two reflections are there rainbow appears fainter the intensity will be very less and colors will be opposite at the top we will see violet and red we will see at the bottom okay this is about secondary rainbow how will be the primary rainbow here i am drawing the diagram refraction then it undergoes dispersion falls in the incident on the inner surface here i will be greater than critical angle angle of incidence undergoes total internal refraction again while coming out here it again undergoes refraction so refraction reflection refraction this is for primary rainbow and for secondary rainbow refraction reflection again reflection again refraction okay again refraction right so this is about the primary and secondary rainbows now you can write down the notes also so i think it is in a very easier language so write down okay if you like my video share it subscribe it thank you for watching us reshma physics